Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with WinnersAndWiners.com coming to you from the Harmon Killebrew Studio deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's Deep Three. As always, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumb, hit the rectangle, give us the love, and of course, tell us what you're playing today. What are you on? What are you tailing? What are you fading? Are you on the Deep Three? Are you avoiding the Deep Three? Uh, what do you got cooking here on this Memorial Day? And by the way, happy Memorial Day to everybody, to all of you that have served, to all of you that have uh, had a friend or a loved one who has paid the ultimate price for our freedom here in America. Uh, thank you very much for your service as well. Um, some of the unsung heroes are the families, of course, of the service people uh, who take care of business there far, far away. So uh, thanks to all. Happy Memorial Day. I hope everybody has a safe and fun Memorial Day. And I hope you, hit, hope, you hope you get some wins today. So let us know what you're playing. Maybe you're on some baseball games. Maybe you got something cooking in the opening game of the Stanley Cup playoffs tonight. Whatever it is, put it up. If you get it right, you win money. You win accolades. You win the prestige of being correct. And you will get an official shout-out. And, and if you're the best capper of the day, you're going to get the unofficial award from me. You're going to be recognized as the capper of the day. So, yeah, tune in to find out if that could be you. And, of course, don't forget to check out our uh, websites, the, 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 the straw that stirs the drink, the engine that turns the wheels, if you will, uh, winnersandwiners.com, statsalt.com, uh, for all of your deep dives into all the contests going on in America every single day. Check those out. And, of course, don't forget to stop by our newest and greatest partner over there at pointsbet.com. If you are a resident of the state of New Jersey, if you're driving through the state of New Jersey, or if you just happen to get kidnapped in the back of a trunk, you escape right by Passaic, get yourself out, get that smartphone, and download the app for pointsbet.com because it is cool. Some of the coolest props anywhere in the world are at PointsBet. They are growing like a weed, as my dad used to say, and uh, they will soon be in the great state of Iowa uh, partnering up in that fantastic state as well who just approved sports betting. So uh, keep an eye out for PointsBet, everybody. These guys are on the move. And as always, if you got a prop, if something that you want to see, uh, going to be a little tough today as we got a lot of day games. But, uh, you know, one of these uh, one of these Tuesday nights, uh, you know, some of the Wednesdays where we have a lot of night games. Uh, Monday, of course, throw props up there, um, and we will throw them over to the guys at, uh, at points bet. Whatever they like best, they'll put that up there. They'll set their own odds, and you have your very own prop bet. All right, so uh, with that being said, let's get on to it, shall we? Uh, we've been running a little late on the videos. We've been running a little long. We're going to try to keep that down. We've got a lot of shout-outs. So, um if you want, you know, fast forward to the picks, blah, 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 and then shout outs will be at the end. Um, so, anyway, that's the deal. We'll try to keep it down. And uh, talking about how long the videos are, certainly aren't going to shorten those any. So, here we go. Uh, oh, quick recap. We went uh, one and two on the deep three. Uh, missed all kinds of, uh, of action on that Miami-Washington game. Caleb Smith absolutely came out there and did nothing. Uh, for the first time this year, he was awful. Uh, our first five under went down in flames. Uh, the Philadelphia Milwaukee under, you know what? I feel like we had that capped right. Um, except, uh, we just didn't count on Eflin completely melting down again against the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Milwaukee, uh, win that won that game nine to one screwing our under nine. And we did get home with the Colorado team total. No sweat as we, uh, as we, uh, got the winning run there in the bottom of the ninth with a bases loaded walk. Hoo <laughs> hoo. And on the premium side, we went one and two as well. Although we did push unit-wise, we had one unit on the Miami Marlins to win that game. We had two units on the Seattle-Oakland over. And we had three units on the Arizona Diamondbacks. They got home in fine fashion. Uh, the Seattle-Oakland over. Um, uh, Mike Leak did his job and sucked. Uh, Oakland ended up putting up six runs. However, uh, Seattle just put up one. They did nothing to help us at all. So a um, couple games that we had clo that we had capped pretty well that just didn't turn out the right way for us. So uh, one and two we go, but we push on the unit. So speaking of pushing on, here we go, buddies. Let's uh, we might as well start with a bang here. We're taking a look at the Miami Marlins against the Washington Nationals. Jose Arena goes against Max Scherzer, former Mizzou pitcher for the Nats. Guess what I'm doing, guys? I'm gonna play the Miami money line plus two twenty seven. I am drawn like a moth to the flame when I see value like this. Yeah, the Marlins let us down yesterday. They'll probably let us down today, too. 
And if you bet on him in the future, guess what's going to happen? They'll probably let you down then. But here's the deal. You know, Scherzer's having a fine season except for one minor detail. The Nats are just 2-9 and nine in Max Scherzer's starts, including the time that he gave up 11 hits in seven runs in the only game he has squared off against the Marlins this season. Uh, Urena's been pretty meh, but he's been good in his last three. He's got an ERA of 1.89. Once again, like we hit it last week with the White Sox, we need a pretty average or even below average pitcher to step up and have one of his good games. If Urena does that, Miami stays patient. I think they can uh, get a couple against Scherzer, maybe pop late for a couple against that dreadful Nationals bullpen, and maybe steal a 4-3 win here. Give me Miami plus 227. And Operation Fade Homer Bailey is sort of back into effect. We're taking a look at the KC Chicago White Sox game. I'm looking at the over, guys. Homer Bailey goes against Ivan uh, Ivan Nova for the White Sox. Holy shit, I know this is a square play. I know you see pitchers like that and you think, that's got to go over. And I know that's a lot of times how the public goes and they act like sheep and they play games like this. But holy shit, guys, I'm not passing this up. I'm sorry. Uh, here's a fun fact. Homer Bailey doesn't have the worst whip in baseball. Did you know that? Uh, is His whip is a 1.56. It's good for six worse. Uh, you know who has the worst whip in baseball? Hello, Ivan Nova. He has a 1.77 whip, which is dead last in the majors. Now, as I mentioned, Nova won a game, a big game for us last week when he allowed just three earned over seven innings against the Astros, and the White Sox pulled off the victory at a nice price for us. We just need him to regress right here to being the Ivan Nova that we all know and love. Uh, the Sox have struggled a little bit to score uh, a little bit lately scoring, but I think Homer and the Royals, uh, the Royals pen is the perfect antidote to that problem. Uh, it's just, it's this, it's, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to pick which game to watch. We got Homer Bailey against Ivan Nova, or we got Jacob DeGrom against Clayton Kershaw. Now that, uh, I guess the Royals game goes early. So hell, we can just turn it into a fantastic double header. Just watch four great pitchers square off against each other. <clears throat> Give me Kansas City, Chicago White Sox over 10 right here. And finishing up with an interleague tussle between uh, two of the best in the respective central divisions as the Milwaukee Brewers go up against the Minnesota Twins. Um, Gonzalez goes for Milwaukee against Michael Pineda for the Twins. You know, here's the deal, guys. The Twins have been playing too well um, to fade him, even with Pineda pitching. I do not like Pineda. He has not been good at all. Uh, and actually, I mean, Gio Gonzalez, has been very good. So we're going to take a look at the team total, four and a half in the brew, for the Brewers. Uh, Brew Crew has been struggling a little bit to score lately, although they did put up nine yesterday, like I mentioned. But they have plenty of talent to take advantage of a bad pitcher that's given up three or more runs in eight straight starts. Hello, Pineda. Uh, give me Milwaukee team total over four and a half. Give me the Chicago, Chicago White Sox, Kansas City Royals over 10. And give me those Miami Marlins at plus 227. And at the end of this fine Memorial Day, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and we march patriotically back to the window. All right. Let's uh, get a little drinky poo here. <coughs> All righty then. Uh, let's do this part here, of course. Shameless plug alert. Shameless plug alert. Da, 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 da. There we go, guys. Um, we did talk about the premium service. If you are interested in my premium picks, about four bucks a day. About a day, it comes out to a little more than a dollar a pick. A buck, it's a buck a pick. Um, and uh, as, as we talked about, I do rate them uh, from one to three units on a daily basis, which plays I like the very, very best. And I am available every single day to uh, to tap my brain if you have uh, any questions about uh, gambling or games in particular. Anything you want to know, I am available um, to all my premium subscribers. So. Uh, if you're interested, just follow the link there. Get yourself signed up. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at the shout-outs. Uh, first of all, we're going to start uh, We're going to start well as a ninja. Uh, he had his underdog pick today was the Toronto Blue Jays. That came in. Had the Nationals on the money line, and he also had the Dodgers on the money line. Well done, sir. Uh, the astute Art Bark. <coughs> he, had a, uh, he had a full slate today. He... Uh, he, he he rode with us on uh, on the on the mill on the uh, on the Miami game, and uh, threw in some Brewers actions there. It did not uh, it did not end well for the Aardvark, Although he did uh, 
He did rally a bit to hit Tampa Bay. Uh, hit the Minnesota Twins under 10.5, and, and he went back to the well on pan over Jordan Spieth, and it paid off to today to the tune of plus 130. So, uh, uh, yeah, he, re- he rallied. He uh, probably going to lose a little bit, but not a, not a dreadful day, Aardvark. Um, Dustin Finley had the Twins on the running line. R- running line. He had the r- Twins on the run line. He had the Dodgers on the run line. Uh, Jason Crawford. <laughs> Jason said, just cut out all this nonsense and take the Yankees every day. Every day except... Today, as the Kansas City Royals, in spite of pissing away a 6-1 to one lead uh, entering the 8th inning, uh, were still able to win against the dreaded New York Yankees. So, uh, uh, C-Dub had a little footy going today. Uh, he missed out on his uh, mold, mold day to win, but although the Tromso mold day game did go over 2.5, uh, C-Dub also hammered the Twins, the Yankees, and the A's team totals. We had a great day anyway. I uh, said, follow the Rockies, but need a little ninth inning magic. Yeah, we did, brother. Never a doubt. After they put up, uh, they uh, started off with a, with a double in the eighth inning. were unable to score to give us that seventh run. Uh, they loaded the bases and walked in that seventh run in the bottom of the ninth. Yeah. <laughs> well done, man. Um <clears throat> Jake Bobby had the uh, the St. Louis under. I know Jake reached out for uh, for uh, my advice on a play. I was uh, actually at brunch with the family. Um, Jake and I usually I got to be honest with you. I'm usually uh, if I have time I will answer your question, but that's usually uh, the time that I'm going to be uh, checking in and checking in with my premium players and uh, answer and then answering those questions. So um, happy to do it for you when I can. Uh, if you want a more uh, regular access to me. Uh, Get signed up with the premium service. We'll be uh, happy to have you on the team, brother. And uh, Cody, he said, uh, he threw, me a, threw me a compliment. I'm going to give myself a shout out here. Cody said a great comment on uh, watching and feeling how a game's te- uh, playing. It's almost like an internal balance scale of teams that play uh, that the numbers don't give you. And that's absolutely right. Um, he says, after after the last night's game, he feels that Golden State is going to have a little more work to do than I thought. He said, KD being out is probably a good thing on the way the Raps played Giannis in this series. So the last two East games, the East last two East games changed my whole outlook on the finals. Yeah, but that's a, and, and like I talked about, it's it's one of those things where you you know you take trends and you, you can really almost throw them out the window because, uh, you know, you, you're you're probably going to be better to look for a trend as far as a total goes. But once you're in game six, game seven, you've got to look at who's banged up. You've got to look at motivation. Um, you've got to look at who's hot, who's not a thousand things that the numbers just playing the strict numbers are not going to tell you. So, uh, thanks Cody. I'm glad it worked out. You know, I look pretty smart. However, um, you know, if they miss, if they miss one of those free throws at the end and, uh, Toronto gets the rebound, they let them go down and score uncontested. They put up an uncontested two pointer and Milwaukee wins by two. I mean, uh, Toronto wins by two and we don't cover. So, um, you know, I'd say any game that that is, that's that close. And that's exactly how it looked. It looked like a close game. We're going to take a shot, and uh, hopefully the right team win, and it did for us. So we will take it, thank, and thanks for the uh, thanks for the shout-out, brother. Uh, Terrence Fisher, he said uh, he had the San Diego-Toronto no run in the first inning. Yeah, guys, keep an eye. Keep an eye on that San Diego team, and their no first run any uh, no first inning runs. Uh, they they don't give up a lot, and they've got a couple pitchers there, especially uh, taking a look at Lucchese, has not given up a first inning run this season. So... Uh, take an eye every day at that first inning run on the Padres. And, uh, that's it, man. So we're going to name our, uh, it's really kind of a, kind of an easy one today. We're going to name our capper of the day, Ninja 13. Uh, the Ninja, the Ninja 13 is doing very well, man. He crushed a bunch of, uh, underdogs earlier this week. He went three for, oh, uh, three and oh today, uh, including uh, a nice little underdog play plus one Oh six on the Jays. So Ninja, nice job, brother. You are my official capper of the day all right you guys you take care have a great memorial day everybody stay safe stay dry and uh good luck let's win them let's win them all kick off the week in the right way and we'll meet all meet here tomorrow and we'll talk about how we did all right you guys have a great one see you later take care